Well, in 1955, which, by the way, was a great year to be born. I know somebody was born that year. Anyway, in 1955, the Statler brothers formed a vocal quartet. For clarification, out of the four members, only two of them were actually brothers, Harold and Don Reed. They were joined alongside Phil Balsley and Lou DeWitt. For further clarification, the group never had a member named Statler. They actually got their stage name, get this, from a box of tissue paper in a hotel room. True story. The Statler brothers had hit songs like Do You Know You're My Sunshine, Elizabeth, My Only Love, and Flowers on the Wall. Many, many others, making the Statler brothers Grammy Award winners and members of both the Gospel and the Country Music Hall of Fame. The music of the Statler Brothers, an anthology, is a book that is filled with 40 years of Statler Brothers stories. Here to tell us about it, founding member Don Reed. Give him a big welcome. Oh, thank you. Don, thank you, so honored to have you here. I'm tickled to be here. I read every page of this book this summer. It was so fascinating. I love music biographies anyway. Yeah. And I'll be honest with you, when I thought, okay, I'm going to read the anthology of all the songs of the Statler Brothers, over 250 songs, I thought, this is going to get tedious. I <laughs> honestly good. could not put the book down. It was so fascinating. Good. Loved it. And I learned so much about the Statlers, including that there were no Statler Brothers exactly. per se. We don't even know anybody named Statler. Never have. <laughs> but everybody thought you were named Statler. Oh, didn't yeah. They? At yeah. first, they, they did. And, uh, you know, the book was, uh, was started because I wanted to tell stories about the songs. And that's what it's all about. I, I get into yeah. how they, they were arranged, how we wrote them, because we wrote most of all of our material. And it was just a, it was a fascinating little job to take on, but I had a great time doing it. It took a couple of years. And you wrote stuff for Johnny Cash. You, you, how long did you tour with Johnny Cash? We were discovered by John, and we were with him for eight and a half years, wow. from 64 into 72. So we were part of his show, part of his television show, and his recorded with him, did all these records with him. So that was a great boost to us, you know. Without Johnny Cash, there would have been no Statler Brothers. Well, we're glad that he saw in you guys something that the rest of the country saw once you were introduced to us. Yeah. Do you have a favorite Statler Brothers song? You've got hundreds, so do you have a favorite? Oh, I, I, like, I like them all because they're all like children, you know. You like yeah. them. But some you like better than others, you know, if you've got a lot of kids. But, uh, <laughs> and I don't, so. Do you want to tell us which of your children is your favorite? No, you I don't want to do that okay. yet. All right, well, Maybe we'll, next trip. Next trip, we'll do that. But uh, let me say, I'll go to my grave loving you <laughs> is a favorite yeah. of mine. And that was a big hit. Yeah. Um, one of the things that I loved about the book, you told the backstory of how the songs came to be. Mm -hmm. And there were so many of them that uh, I would never have imagined. One of my favorites, and I remember this when I was just a kid growing up, and uh, Flowers on the Wall, one of the big hits. I, I guess, you know, a huge smash hit for you guys. Of then course. it got resurrected in 1996 when Quentin Tarantino put it in the movie Pulp Fiction. Exactly, yeah. That must have done some cha-ching on the royalties. Oh, it did. It was. It sold again. It was a million seller again for the second time. <laughs> and uh, we didn't. We signed off to be in the movie, but we weren't even sure what the movie was or what it was about when we did. And it was a little bit of a shocker. When yeah, yeah I can see that it would be. Yeah. <laughs> but it was interesting, and it worked out. Yeah. One of the things I have admired about you guys is that you have lived in Staunton, Virginia. You, you didn't go to Hollywood. You, maybe you went and did shows there and you went yeah. to Nashville and did stuff to perform and to record. But you've always lived in your same neighborhood, went to the same church, exactly. hang out with the same friends. Do you think that kind of gave the Statler Brothers a grounding and a sense of permanency? It did. We wrote so much about memories. We wrote about nostalgia and looking back. And we had that town that we grew up in that we were still living in to refresh those memories every day. Yeah. Because, you know, we would walk down, we would go to the same theater we went to as kids. We'd walk down the same streets and the same school. Our old school then became our offices. We bought the schoolhouse and <laughs> that's where our headquarters were. So it was all tied into small town USA and it was just wonderful. Every July the 4th, you guys did a big thing yep. and in Staunton, Virginia. It took mm -hmm. tens of thousands of people would come to this uh, big yeah. event and celebrate uh, our country, but celebrate the Statler brothers and your profound influence on them. And, you know, I know you're probably not going to talk about it, but you guys 
were so charitable and generous to your community, they got to love you. You could be mayor if you wanted to be. Well, I don't want to be. So You're a smart that's, uh... guy. You're a smart guy. <laughs> yeah, you are. But it, yeah, it was. But it was a flag-waving time. I mean, we did that. It was a time when you could be patriotic without being political. Yeah. And I miss that. I do, I too. miss that so much. I miss it. Yeah. I think we all do. One yeah. thing we don't have to miss is the great music of the Statlers. It's, it's forever. And this book, I hope our audience will get one. If you've loved the Statler Brothers, and if you don't, there's something really sick about you. But if you have, it's in written form. And also, for those of you that just don't like to read or your eyes don't work as well, it's all in audio as well. And I think it's just something extraordinary. And I'm reading the audio, and that was harder work than writing a book. I, I can believe that. Yeah. Because it's a long book, but it's a great book. Yeah. Well, uh, by the way, Don has a son, and the late Harold Reed, his brother, also had sons. They have formed a band, Wilson Fairchild. It's the middle name of Langdon and Will. It's a pretty cool uh, band, and they're here tonight. They're going to perform in order to honor the Statler Brothers' music with a song. I think they can do it. Oh. I mean, Will and Langdon, who comprise the duo, sons of Don and Harold Reed. But first, Keith Bilbrey is going to tell the folks at home how they can get their own copy, like I've got, called The Music of the Statler Brothers, an anthology by Don Reed. Well, just go to thestatlerbrothers.com to get your copy of Don Reed's The Music of the Statler Brothers, an anthology. You can even get your copy autographed by Don Reed. It makes a great Christmas gift. 